today we'll be starting subcontracting so the topics that we're going to cover they are procurement process with subcontracting components required for subcontracting to the subcontractor and its setup post good issue for subcontract purchase order post goods received for a subcontract purchase order effects of post goods issue in the case of subcontracting so we'll start with the business example so your company manufactures motorbikes since you do not have resources to assemble the ignition system so you send the individual parts to a subcontractor who takes on this task for you so in this case you can see that just to do a particular job in the production process we sending the goods to the subcontracting vendor who will be doing that job for us so this is very common in a lot of production industry so for example whether they the industry is making a car whether they're making a laptop whether they're making a pen or bike whatever so every product has to go through different production stages all right so if any of the production stage it can be assembly stage it can be something else in any of the production stage if we do not have the required manpower or the machinery to do that job so the company will subcontract that process only so for example it can be assembly of the laptop my company is making laptop everything else we're making in-house however just for the assembly of the laptop we can send it to the subcontracting vendor who will be doing the assembly will provide them the components and they will be doing the final assembly so subcontracting in purchasing now we'll just understand this theoretically first and then we'll start some practicals now here you can see in the diagram that here on one side this is my company and here at the bottom we have subcontractor or the vendor so from the purchasing point of view what we'll do we'll create a subcontracting purchase order now this purchase order once created will be sent to the vendor who will then wait for the components okay so he will wait for the components to be provided to do that job so that is a scenario from purchasing from the inventory management point of view what we'll do we'll pro we'll send them the goods we'll send them the goods and at the vendor end or the subcontractor end, they will be producing the final material or whatever they're supposed to do and once it is done they will send it back to my own company and it will be goods received in the storage location and finally from the invoice verification point of view will be paying the vendor or the subcontractor for the invoice so So let's start with creating a subcontracting purchase order. So here the point to be noted is whenever you create a purchase order, the only difference that it makes for the system to recognize it as a as a uh, as a subcontracting uh, purchase order is you will make the item category as L. So let me do the practicals here. Now before we do the practical, um, let me take a scenario here. So I'll be uh, I'll be using a product that we created earlier, Z demo one. This product I will be using for this exercise. And if I look at the material, so this is a just call it say laptop it's a laptop and this laptop got a bomb that would discuss in the previous class that what is bomb bill of material and i can see the bomb in cs02 transaction so this bomb so it's a laptop it got a mouse it got a monitor it got a keyboard Okay, so these are the components that will be making this laptop. And 
we'll be using this one and uh, so here I will write so this is a laptop and it got bomb components as mouse keyboard there can be some other components but just for example I'm using these three components and a monitor a monitor you can see a screen or something so so the material is set up here so what I will do I'll be creating a purchasing order so go to me 21 and to create the purchase order so first step here I will write down create subcontracting you can call it SC purchase order so here I'll be using the vendor say 100502 and before you enter the material you need to select the item category here which is L so you can see L stands for subcontracting and then you enter the material here Z demo 1 and how much quantity you need just say I'll say 5 I need 5 quantity and now system is asking to enter a plant enter the plant enter the net price a price can be say maybe just say six dollars or six euro and press enter there is no red signal so all good so here my uh, material is ready and also if you go to the material master tab at the bottom material data tab here you can see a little button called component this button component so if you click on component this one it will show you the bomb so if I click on that here you can see the components these are the components that we're going to provide because I you can see the quantity here is five because of one to one combination so because I am sending them five we need five of the final product so that's why we need five of each of the sub component this below button explode bomb is just to refresh the bomb like if you make any changes in the bomb in CS02 then you can click on this one and see the changes here if you add a material or remove something or change the quantity so that's for this one so from here you can see the bomb component so let me save this purchase order so purchase order is ready let me note down the number so here is the purchase order number step number two So, purchase order is created. <laughs> now, the second thing is we need to provide the uh, bomb components to the vendor, stock of material provided to the vendor. So, we need to send the components or the raw materials to the vendors so that they can do the processing or the assembly whatever they're supposed to do so the point to be noted here is that we always the system always withdraw the stock from the unrestricted stock so whenever you need to send the goods to the vendor you cannot take it from the block stock or the in quality inspection you always take it from the unrestricted so let me do this and the other thing is um, these are the uh, 541 is the movement type that system will be using so let me show you this one so second step I'll write down provide uh, components to vendor or to subcontracting vendor so what we do is use the MyGo transaction so here I will go to MyGo And goods issue against purchase order and paste the purchase order number here press enter sorry not the goods issue 